Well, hi everybody. Uh, it's a real pretty day here in central Kentucky and we're at Myers Angus Farm visiting with Joe Myers and uh, Joe is uh, obviously a very respected Angus breeder and we're, we're fortunate to have a bull called Myers Fair and Square in our lineup, a bull that's getting a lot of attention. So we thought we'd come out today, see the cow, see the bull's mother and visit with Joe a little bit about uh, why this cow is so special. So we're fortunate to have her uh, over my shoulder here and Joe tell us a little bit about this cow and obviously she's made a stud bull already but uh, you knew she was special for, at an early age. Yeah this this cow uh, comes from a family that we've worked with for many many years a uh, very fertile cow family. Um, uh, Fair and Square's mother is a four-year-old right now and and uh, Thunder daughter and uh, you might be able to tell in the in the camera in the background, but she's a bigger scaled Thunder Daughter than uh, we see a lot of the times with tremendous depth of body and good udder quality. Yep. Um, she um, comes from a line of cows that fertility's just kind of been built in to mm. them for many, many years. And actually, uh, Fair and Square's grandmother, this cow's dam, um, stayed in the herd till she was 14 years old. And um, she bred 11 times AI on the first service and yeah. main, maintained Pathfinder status. Um, one of those services ended up in a set of twins, so she actually raised 12 calves yeah. in her uh, in her the 14 years she was with us. But very full cow, always knocked it out of the park on performance. The the uh, ratios on weaning were tremendous on her and. Um, she was a bigger scaled cow. She she had a lot of grow in her, but she always did everything right, and that, that we realized that was a pretty hard combination to get that kind of growth and size in those cattle, but still have them function on grass. And so this was her best daughter, um, this Thunder, and we were very fortunate to get get her um, late, in, late in her mother's life. And uh, to me, this, this cow kind of wraps up the fertility, the phenotype, excellent udder quality, and perfect feet. So, Yeah, one of the things that I really liked about Fair and Square, when we saw him, I saw him first as a calf before mm -hmm. you had weaned him. Yeah. And uh, when you see this cow with a wet udder and her foot quality, all the maternal traits that she brings to the table, that just uh, sealed it up for us. Yeah, she, she kind of puts it all together, and her utter quality teat placement, the size of the teats are really desirable, uh, I think, for most any, any cattle breeder, but yet still enough milk that does a tremendous job raising calves, but, but keeps that other udder looking tidy. You bet, uh, you bet. Well, we're fortunate to have Myers Fair and Square in our lineup, uh, and I think one of his strengths is this cow, this prominent young cow that stands here. And uh, Joe, we just so appreciate the opportunity, uh, appreciate the genetics that you've provided for our lineup. Yeah, well, thank you very much. It's been a good partnership.